Today, we will see examples of approximation to nearest tens, hundreds and thousands and examples of estimating the outcome of number operations. Approximate the following numbers to hundreds and thousands. Focus on the last two digits. While approximating to nearest hundreds, if the number formed by these digits is among any number from 1 to 49, then this number is closer to 0 than 100. Therefore, approximate it by writing 0 in its place. Similarly, focus on the last three digits while approximating to nearest thousands. If the number formed by these digits is among any number from 1 to 499, then write 0 in its place and if it is among any number from 500 to 999, then write 0 in its place and increase the digit at the thousands place by 1. Next example, Raman wants to buy a gift for his teacher. The gift item cost rupees 215. He has rupees 164. If his father gives him rupees 57, then will it be enough to buy the gift? Find it by estimation. By adding Raman's money with the amount he got from his father, we get rupees 221. If we compare it with the cost of the gift, we can find whether it is enough or not. But this is not required here. Rough estimation saves the time and helps in comparison as well. Therefore, we will find the value nearest to the result. Whenever there is addition or subtraction, let's consider the smallest number. Here, 57 is the smallest number. Then, find the highest place value of that number. The highest place value in 57 is tens. So, we will approximate both the numbers to tens place. The approximation to tens of 164 is 160 and of 57 is 60. Their total is 220, more than 250. Therefore, he will have enough money. Since the outcome is close to the actual result, it is meaningful and accurate. So, can we estimate these numbers? to the nearest hundreds and thousands? Think about it. The result won't be accurate with estimation to hundreds and thousands. Next example. Estimate the given value. 53 into 287. While estimating multiplication, find the highest value of both the numbers to be multiplied. Here. The highest value in 53 is tens and the highest place value in 287 is hundreds. Then approximate the respective numbers to the highest place. On approximating 53 to tens, we get 50. And on approximating 287 to hundreds, we get 300. Then multiply the approximated numbers, we get 15,000 which is both meaningful and accurate. Today, we have seen examples of approximation to nearest tens, hundreds and thousands and examples of estimating the outcome of number operations. In the next video, we will discuss some of the misconceptions related to estimation.